Stop making a disturbance, hurry, and move out of the way. I'm still not done. The most important thing is about to escape. Sure, Hal pushed an elder with disheveled hair to the side, not polite at all, leaving everyone stupefied. However, right now, Sure, Hal really was anxious, his expression serious. It was because he was targeting the light left over by the immortal killing guillotine, chasing after it. When faced with this streak of light, he didn't rashly touch it with his body, fearing that he might suffer a loss. After all, his head had previously been removed by that dark red blade. For the sake of safety, he decisively used the lightning pool. They were both things that appeared in lightning tribulation, shouldn't clash with each other. Moreover, he had tested it out before. The lightning pool was ridiculously sturdy. Brat, what kind of attitude is this? That elder glared at him. However, he didn't get angry. Even though he widened his eyes, the smile on his face was still quite amiable. Xiao, it had to be said that this streak of light was too fast, like lightning as it passed by, resembling a streak of rainbow, simply impossible to catch, not many things faster than it. Wherever it passed, time seemed to have stopped, penetrating the everlasting. Chi, an elder took action, helping force that streak of light over. However, this streak of light seemed to possess a will of its own, actually knowing to change directions, escape, shoot in a different direction. E, a bit interesting. Don't tell me this thing has a spirit, having its own will? Another elder took action, because this streak of light flew towards him. This is an excellent thing. This also came from the lightning tribulation. If I am not mistaken, it should be left over from a corner of the immortal killing stage's guillotine. Another person's eyes flourished with radiance, extremely interested. This thing is most likely extremely heaven-defying, very likely even more precious than the lightning pool. Stop it. Don't let it run. Someone said. A group of elders took action together, chasing after it, not letting the streak of light escape. Just now, sure how is still complaining, believing that the group of elders were standing in his path. Now, he released a breath of relief. This group of people were too strong, with them surrounding it. This streak of light couldn't escape. Careful. Someone cried out in alarm. It was because this streak of light directly pierced through the void, wishing to escape through space. This was extremely shocking. Once it escaped, it would be hard to catch up to it again. Come out. An old woman with gray hair shouted. Her finger released a faint silver light, moreover quickly enlarging, slapping forward. With a honglong sound, that area of the sky was slapped to pieces, continuously breaking apart. That mysterious light was forced out, unable to escape. This thing really is slippery. Collect for me. Another elder released a lightning shout. He produced a golden skin gourd that was glistening yellow. He pulled out the cork, about to collect it. This gourd's origins were extraordinary, accompanied with five-colored divine light. But of course, with golden light as the main color. A vortex appeared on the gourd's mouth, simply able to suck in heaven and earth. This was an extremely powerful precious artifact, the various fluctuations released by the light shocking. In the end, that light trying to escape through the sky was absorbed. Haha, -ha, it was captured, suppressed. The elder laughed. However, as soon as he plugged up the gourd's mouth, the yellow-skinned gourd shook intensely. In the end, there was even a sharp and clear kacha sound that suddenly sounded. A streak of light directly appeared beneath the gourd. My treasure. The elder cried out, face even becoming gray. The bottom of the gourd was blasted through. That streak of light shot out, the gourd unexpectedly unable to stop it, allowing it to escape. This thing really is sinister. Let me give it a try. The other elders all took action, bringing out artifacts one after another, attacking the streak of light. In the end, something shocking happened. That streak of light was too sharp, blasting through an ancient shield, severing a divine spear, even more so breaking through a great net. They couldn't restrain it at all. The most frightening thing was that after it went crazy, it pierced through an elder's palm, going straight through, leaving behind a bloody wound, extremely terrifying. This thing was extremely vicious, no one able to stop it. This is too extraordinary, just what exactly is it? Is it really just a streak of light? Now, everyone was watching this streak of light closely. Pong. Suddenly, a large black hand moved through the sky, covering everything, giving many people an imperial pass a suffocating feeling, almost falling weak onto the ground. What? Everyone cried out in alarm. This type of power was too terrifying, no one able to resist it. Many elders' faces became pale. It came from the ancestral altar. Someone said quietly, expression changing greatly not daring to say too much. The ancestral altar was a special place. 
Apart from consecrating the war deities who died in history, there were several unmatched hermits who cultivated in isolation. They were imperial pass protectors. At this time, a large black hand reached out. One knew even without thinking too much that there was definitely an unmatched being secluded within who was disturbed, now taking action. Even creatures of this level attached importance to this streak of light. One could see just how extraordinary it was. Woo. There is only this bit of essence light. Too small. Not enough to divide up. It is still better if it is left for the youngster. Right at this time, Great Elder Meng Tianzhong truly appeared. Seal. He released a light shout. Moreover, a finger pointed out, magical force immediately overflowing, surging like scarlet magma. The divine radiance was immediately restricted, unable to act viciously anymore. It had to be said that Great Elder's divine might was unmatched, magical force boundless. Now that he took action, everything became simple. Chi. Great Elder moved his hand, bringing the lightning pool over, using it to suppress this streak of light, collecting it inside. Only now could this matter be considered finished. The large black hand hesitated for a bit, but in the end, it still silently withdrew, entering the void, disappearing into the ancestral altar. Many people were shocked, but they didn't dare talk too much about the ancestral altar. After a short moment of silence, they began to speak up one after another. This shouldn't be the essence of the immortal killing stage, right? That guillotine has killed gods, slaughtered immortals, so the mysterious light that leaked out from it is definitely extraordinary. This thing is a priceless treasure, should be something of the same level as the lightning pool. The elders were all moved, unable to calm down. They flocked over, all of them rushing over. Of course, not many people could match Great Elder in status here, none of them daring to behave recklessly in front of him. They all rushed towards Shirhao. Little brother, this lightning pool isn't that small. How about you sell me a piece? Someone spoke, interested in the lightning pool. Who said it was large, it is only less than a square foot in size. Sure, how is like a money gruber? He blinked his eyes, saying, I really wish it was bigger. I don't think it is small. How about you exchange it with me? I'll give you a piece of rare divine material, and you can even take your pick from self-release realm magical artifacts. An old man said with all smiles. This time, before sure how expressed anything, the others couldn't take this anymore, all of them criticizing that old man. Really, you old thing, you came from Imperial Pass Immortal Dao family. Way family, you even dare to act so poverty-stricken. Way family, just like Tugu Yulong. As family, was one of Imperial Pass three great long-life families, having the Way family four phoenixes. There is no need to say too much, I am offering a piece of darkness immortal gold. An elder spoke, extremely imposing, directly stating a shocking offer. Everyone was shocked, this place immediately becoming silent. What kind of thing was immortal gold? It could be used to refine immortal Dao magical weapons, hard to find throughout the world. How could normal people obtain such things? It was impossible to find. Of course, I only have a small piece, the size of a thumb. You all should understand that it is hard to gather enough to refine even one weapon, even if the entire nine heavens ten earths are scoured. The elder said. Everyone nodded. This was the truth. However, after they recognized that this was someone from the Tugu family, everyone sighed inwardly. Only an immortal Dao family could bring out a piece of darkness immortal gold. I admit my wrongs, little brother. I am also willing to offer a piece of immortal gold, a piece that is a bit larger than his. Wei family's elder apologized, still wishing to obtain the lightning pool. It was because this type of thing was too mysterious, something that appeared from heavenly tribulation, rarely seen from past until now. Only a freak like Huang would do this type of thing, dare to seize it. This was the first time they saw a lightning pool that seemed to be cut from a piece of rock. They all felt that it was extraordinary, as if made by heaven. It was definitely special, perhaps carrying a great Tao truth. If it was cut by someone, then it was even more mysterious, containing too many mysteries and information. That was why they all wanted to obtain it. This was especially the case for long-life families, wishing to research it to its end. As for the streak of light that rushed out from the immortal killing stage, they also wanted it badly, but they didn't dare speak up, because they felt like Great Elder Ming Tianzhong might have already set his eyes on it. I am offering a Supreme Being Magical Artifact. Another person offered. The so-called Supreme Being Magical Artifact were precious artifacts refined by people on the level of Ming Tianzhong and Immortal Wang, refined with meticulous care their entire lives, at most a single one created. This was their life treasure. Otherwise, what is refined can only be considered a powerful magical artifact, not a supreme being artifact. 
This level of artifact was incomparably powerful. Once it was operated with full force, it was equivalent to a supreme being appearing, terrifying beyond compare. There weren't many of them in this world. From a certain perspective, they wouldn't be more common than immortal artifacts. Moreover, as long as heaven and earth's environment changes, then there is a chance of this thing evolving into an immortal weapon. Without a doubt, their materials were all of heaven-defying level, for example, world stone, immortal gold, and other things. Seniors, I really cannot exchange this thing. Sure how shook his head. In reality, those treasures were extremely enticing, but there was no way he could give out the lightning pool. He still wanted to research it himself. This thing's origins were too extraordinary. I only wish to exchange for a small piece, do not need the entire lightning pool. Someone lowered their demands, taking a step back. In the distance, the youngsters were stupefied. Just how great was the natural luck Huang obtained? A group of elders were crazily giving offers. Just the lightning pool's value alone was already unimaginable, let alone the lightning tribulation liquid and the streak of light. Everyone couldn't help but feel jealous. After making it through history's most powerful void Dao realm level heavenly tribulation, the benefits Huang obtained were just too many. How about this? Let my clan research it for half a year, and this piece of immortal gold is yours. An elder took another step back. Sure how really was troubled, but in the end, he still couldn't agree. How about this, everyone? I have one request. If you all are willing to help me, then I will hand this thing to everyone. Give it to you all. When this sentence was spoken, everyone became stunned. This brat was even more slippery than a loach, just not willing to yield. How could he just joyfully hand it over now? Forget about the elders, not even the youngsters really believed him. What do you need help with? An elder asked. I am someone who really loves eating, a great indulgence, the most blissful thing of life. There is just no way of satiating it. Sure how boasted shamelessly here. Everyone became suspicious. What did this have to do with everyone's help? Wong family has nine dragons, among them, five of them are in Imperial Pass. Whoever can give me some dragon meat, I will give that person the lightning pool. Sure how said extremely directly. Everyone immediately became petrified. The five dragons seemed to be extremely fierce, but with so many of us here, if we slaughter our way over together, then I refuse to believe that I can't eat dragon meat. If everyone goes, then I will hand over this lightning pool. Sure how said enticingly. Wang wanted to kill Wang family's five dragons, moreover not hiding it at all, stating it in front of everyone. Instead of saying that this was a type of resolution from Sure how, it was better to say that this was a type of attitude. This time, Wang family went too far, actually releasing lightning spirits to harm him. Those were a rare species who had only appeared in Legends. They grasped heavenly tribulation, and if it was anyone else in his place, they would have undoubtedly died. Even sure how, if not for his senses being sharp, realizing it ahead of time, he might have been seriously injured. Wong family had tried to harm him to death many times, not considering the greater situation at all. There were countless foreign troops outside Imperial Pass, yet only for their selfish wishes, they wanted to get rid of him. This time, sure how was angered, completely furious. Wong family wanted to harm him to death again and again, fearing that he would grow up and then threaten their clan, so they used all methods they had. Now, he spoke out in public, not out of hopes that someone would go kill the five dragons, but rather as a type of declaration to slap Wong family's faces. Originally, this was something Wong family would normally try to cover up, so he wanted to expose it in front of everyone, let everyone know. It was because not everyone in Imperial Pass knew that the lightning spirits belonged to Wong family more of them being jealous of Shurhau's fortune, that he could subdue this type of heaven-defying creature. The group of elders were left in an extremely awkward situation. Even though they held scorn for Wong family, to have them go over and kill them right now, kill the five dragons, they really couldn't do it. One had to understand that Wong family is a huge power. If they slaughtered their way over, it would be the same as declaring war against Wong family. This wouldn't be a small matter. Wong family had a mortal Wong, a matchless figure on par with Ming Tianzhong, only half a step away from immortality. His magical force was unequaled, incomparable. If not for the environment changing, this individual would simply be a true immortal. If the world's environment didn't change, he would have definitely become a true immortal who could overlook all clans, unmatched under the sky. Moreover, there were some who suspected that with the other side's attacks, the two realms' realm wall had long been broken, about to merge together, evolve. At that time, the great environment might very well change. At that time, Immortal Wong might become a true immortal. No one was willing to take action. 
There was a private side to this, and also a public side. As for public, Imperial Pass didn't permit disorder. Attacking a giant power like Wang family would definitely produce chaos. After all, apart from Wang family's five dragons, there were a hundred thousand elite troops who came as well, personally sent over by immortal Wang. Together with Wang family's soldiers who were in Imperial Pass to begin with, this was a force that couldn't be looked down on. Little brother, it is best if we do not act impetuous on this matter. Exactly, we know you were wronged, but it still isn't the right time to make a big fuss. Some people advised against this, but they acted carefully. No matter what, Imperial Pass didn't permit disorder, no sides tolerated it. However, everyone knew that Wang family definitely had to bleed for this, or else this matter most likely wouldn't end. At the very least, Ming Tianzhong wouldn't agree. Wang family has gone too far, trying to harm me again and again. If this continues, sooner or later, I will be killed by them. Why can't they be punished severely? Sure how said furiously. He expressed his intentions here. He needed an explanation for this, even more so needing a guarantee, or else this type of hidden danger couldn't be defended against effectively. Correct. Wang family is too shameless, taking action again and again. In my opinion, this should just be directly wiped out, completely razed to the ground. Xiao Yuxing nodded. He was already standing on Sure House side, long opposing Wang family, so he didn't fear offending them. Wang family's five dragons, the reason they came to Imperial Pass wasn't because they really wanted to provide reinforcements, but because they made a grave mistake. It was because they wanted to kill Huang that they were banished here. Now, they made another mistake, so they have to be punished severely. The Lunar Jade Rabbit and Heavenly Horned Imp both criticized harshly. Wang family bullies others too intolerably, trying to harm me again and again. Fellow Taoists, do you all really think this clan will become a cornerstone of power against the enemies outside Imperial Pass? They are wielding their halberds against their own. This type of family will only make others feel fear. If something extreme happens at the crucial moment, then it would be a great disaster. Sure how said with a serious expression. He didn't fear stirring things bigger. He behaved in such an ostentatious manner precisely to badly burn Wong family from head to toe. Only this could make others bleed grant himself more benefits. He didn't hope for this instance to completely uproot the clan. That wasn't realistic. How daring. A younger generation like you dares humiliate my Wong family. What proof do you have? Moreover, you killed my clansmen without any cause or reason, killing an elder. We still didn't settle things with you, yet you are already trying to start a fight? I cannot stand letting you live. In the distance, someone shouted loudly, standing at the horizon, clouds surging, primal chaos rising. This was clearly an extremely great expert. He didn't truly dare come over. After all, Meng Tianzhong was precisely here, only wishing to refute Shi Hao's words, express a type of angered attitude. When Shi Hao heard this, his brows immediately stood on end. He was almost harmed, yet the other person was blaming him instead. Do you all still want any face? Shi Hao shouted. Truly shameless, already doing this type of thing, yet you all still want to make a false countercharge. Chao Yushin shouted. Unbridled, how can Wang family be something you all can humiliate and slander? On the other side, someone shouted. In reality, Wang family really was angry. Even though they were the ones who harmed Shi Hao, in the end, Shi Hao didn't die, but instead obtained natural luck. Regardless of whether it was the lightning pool or the mysterious light, they both made Wang family's eyes red. They helped the other party accomplish his aim for no reason, and not obtaining this for themselves. This made them vexed and resentful. What made them the most angry was that the lightning spirits were actually lost, not nurtured under them anymore. This was one of the greatest trump cards of their clan. If they were properly raised, they would definitely become three unmatched war gods. Unfortunately, after failing to harm Huang, he collected them instead, becoming his weapons. In the future, they will most likely be used to deal with Huang family. So how could they not feel resentment? Of course, all of this was from their perspective. They didn't consider that this was all because they were targeting Shi Hao. All of you are becoming more and more unreasonable. Just who is being unbridled? Great Elder Ming Tianzhong spoke up, face becoming cold. Moreover, he reached out a large hand, grabbing towards the horizon. Oh, no. There were three people in total. They turned around to run, frightened to the point where their souls were shaking. Who was Ming Tianzhong? He was someone at the same level as a mortal Wong, unmatched under the sky, who could oppose him. They stood in the distance, not having any intention of taking action. They never expected that after just refuting a few sentences, they would trigger Great Elder's severe discontent. 
a great hand covered the sky. There were many people in Imperial Pass whose breathing even stopped, enveloped within a constrained pressure. Large amounts of experts fell weak onto the ground, trembling in fear. When Great Elder took action, no one could stop him. It was unknown just how many cultivators shivered in fear. In the end, they fell, unable to move on their own at all. They were shaking down to their soul. Who? The three were covered by that large hand, the bones within their bodies making peepa sounds, completely shattering. This was still the result of Great Elder showing mercy, otherwise, with just a bit of might. Even if it didn't completely make contact, they would explode into blasts of bloody mist. Detain them in death prisons, leave them behind to kill enemies on the battlefield later to atone for their crimes. Great Elder ordered. There was immediately someone who rushed over, bringing the three of them to prison. Ming Tianzhang, you bully others intolerably. In the distance, someone released a low roar. It came from the building Wang family came from. Even though there was endless distance separating them, the voice was still transmitted over. Bully others intolerably? Even you all have the nerve to say this? This is the perfect time to settle things. Great Elder Ming Tianjing's expression was serious. Great Elder personally saw Sure How walk the body as a seed path, step out on his own great path. He had to bring back justice in his place no matter what. Hong. A great hand moved through the sky. Great Elder took action in front of everyone, that hand covering the sky and sun, crushing the sky dome, grabbing towards Wong family. Ping. Along the way, a few figures dropped to the ground, erupting with a bloody radiance. Dao brother, please cease your anger. Right at this time, an aged voice sounded from the ancestral altar. Moreover, a five-colored streak of divine light extended all the way here. There was an ancient war chariot on the five-colored divine great path, pulled by ancient beasts, operated by two attendants. When they arrived, they hurriedly got off, extremely respectful to great elder, carrying out a great act of courtesy, inviting him onto the chariot. Dao brother, let us please have a chat. I will definitely satisfy brother. Please do not take action. This voice of urging sounded from the ancestral altar's direction. Fine, I will give you face first. Ming Tianzhong said. He got on the war chariot, quickly disappearing along the five-colored divine light path. Before leaving, he returned the lightning pool to Sure How, moreover telling him that he already applied seals, so there was no need to worry about that streak of light escaping. Inside this imperial pass, one didn't really have to worry about others stealing things, however. After things developed like this, a storm temporarily calmed. Many people knew that this matter wouldn't end without Wong family bleeding greatly. When Great Elder left, everyone released a breath of relief. Otherwise, it was as if a mountain was crushing down, making everyone tremble with fear. Moreover, this was still the result of Great Elder restraining his might. If he let it spread as it pleased, everyone would be crawling on the ground, their bodies shaking uncontrollably. Supreme being level, their strength was high up above, unimaginable. Right now, it wasn't just a group of elders who were lively, rushing over together, even Xiao Yushin, Lunar Jade Rabbit, and others all cried out, throwing themselves towards Shi Hao. Let me see, just what kind of thing is this lightning pool? The Heavenly Horned Ant also shouted. A group of people surrounded Shi Hao, wishing to be the first to examine the lightning pool. Dang, an elder was impatient, ignorantly striking the lightning pool, really wishing to break off a piece. However, in the end, his arm became numb, the space between his thumb and forefinger even splitting apart, but the lightning pool still didn't break. Moreover, because of this, a powerful streak of lightning radiance was triggered, burning his entire body black, hair standing on end, leaving him in a sorry state. The old man wiped at the black ashes covering his face, but he didn't get upset, instead chuckling and saying, this thing really is heaven-defying, let me research it a bit more. At this time, Sure How was also striking it, carefully studying it. Just what was going on with this thing? Was it really carved from a type of rock? It really was ancient looking. Wait, why do I feel like there's something swimming inside the pool? Suddenly, an elder cried out strangely. He had Sure How hold the lightning pool without moving, maintain that position just like that. He carefully looked inside the pool. Aside from the sparkling lightning tribulation liquid, he seemed to have seen something. E. There really seemed to be living creatures inside. Someone else said with a stupefied expression. It seems to have come from the lightning pool walls, a living thing. Heavens, I seem to have seen several true dragons swimming inside. Someone cried out in alarm. Hey, 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 seniors, move out of the way, don't crowd around like this. Let us take a look too. Chaoyushin shouted. I will invite everyone to drink a cup of divine wine, lightning tribulation liquid. 
Let's sit down and slowly research. Sure, how endured is shock, speaking out like this. Really? You are inviting us to drink a cup of lightning tribulation liquid. The youngsters felt like their throats were becoming dry, their voices even shaking a bit. Lightning tribulation liquid, what was this? It was too rare in this world. Who could bring out something like this for everyone to share? Correct, however, there's too many people here. Most likely cannot give everyone a cup. I can only put some into fine wine. Let everyone have a taste. Sure how sad. It was because he saw that even though the ones invited were all the best young experts, the number of people still wasn't small. There was only a small pool of lightning tribulation liquid too. So if he truly gave everyone a cup, then there wouldn't be much left. Even though he went for broke, retaining the entire lightning pool, the lightning pool this time was too small, only a square foot in size. When they heard a decisive reply, this place erupted with noise, triggering a huge commotion. It was because lightning tribulation liquid was too precious. Even if one searched the entire nine heavens ten earths, not many people drank it before. In this great era, heavenly tribulation no longer appeared. If one forcefully triggered it, the difficulty would increase several times. This would simply be a path of death. In the present world, not many people dared to trigger heavenly tribulation. Thus, lightning tribulation liquid was doomed to become one of the rarest things of this world, even the inheritors of the most powerful sects and divine children not tasting it before. This was especially the case when they thought about how the tribulation Huang experienced was the most powerful void Tao realm heavenly tribulation in all of history, making them feel even more moved. The corresponding lightning tribulation liquid quality was definitely ridiculously good. I really can't wait. Really wish to experience just what kind of flavor lightning tribulation liquid has. Invite brother Huang to the seat of honor. Hurry, hurry. A few youngsters who were fond of wine urged, every one of them beaming with joy. It was to the extent where they even forgot about the matters of there being creatures in the lightning pool, not immediately surrounding and examining it. There were wine lovers among the elders as well, some not showing anything, truly finding it too embarrassing to fight over alcohol with youngsters. However, there were some elders who were thick-skinned and black-hearted, pompous, asking sure how for wine to drink. Child, I am also quite young, my heart forever remaining at 18 years of age, still surging with vitality. This was what an elder with skin just as thick as Surehouse said. Ha ha. Everyone laughed. Surehow didn't touch the sealed lightning pool, instead producing a bone cauldron. Previously, he was scared that he might not be able to obtain the lightning pool, which was why he used this cauldron to collect a small half of the lightning tribulation liquid. He poured a cup for himself, and then drank it. He immediately revealed a shocked expression, feeling a wave of warmth surging through him. H.I.'s entire body was surging with heat, is blood boiling because of this. This lightning tribulation liquid was too exceptional. Sure how was extremely shocked, this exceeded all lightning tribulation liquid he obtained before. This wasn't only because his cultivation realm increased that the quality of the precious liquid, it was also because the tribulation this time was extraordinary, and that was why it was so different. Immediately afterwards, everyone saw Sure how's damaged body shine, his injuries that cut into his bone, cracking outer surface, even the bloody hole on his chest started to heal. At the same time, his mouth, nose, eyes, ears, all seven apertures were releasing multicolored light, impossible to suppress. The essence light was too brilliant, rushing out. Everyone was stupefied, and then they became happy. Too strong. This lightning tribulation liquid is even more precious than what I imagined. Even Huang's injuries that were that severe were able to instantly heal. This is a rare great medicine after all. Things that could be called great medicines were too rare in this world. This was a type of extremely high praise. After sure how understood how much essence the lightning tribulation liquid carried, he walked into the place of gathering, entering the ancient palace, personally pouring a bit into every cup, and then filled it with some fine wine. This place immediately flowed with brilliant colors, the entire great palace becoming divine, surrounded in faint essence energy, as well as medicinal liquid and wine fragrances. Dell brothers, I do not wish to say too much. In the future, we will fight shoulder to shoulder outside Imperial Pass, fight the enemy while drenched in blood. I invite everyone to drink. Sure how sad. Many people raised their cups, first taking a whiff. They felt extremely reluctant. This was good stuff that could save their lives, drinking it like this was a bit too extravagant, right? Just drink it, have a taste. This is but the most fundamental vital life power, it will be good even if you drink it first. It will be stored in the flesh, and then when your life force becomes stronger, 
When you encounter some life-threatening danger, it can help you resolve some distress at the source. An elder said, Heavenly tribulation represented destruction, while this type of liquid was born in destruction, the rarest type of thing, representing new life. Excellent wine, the taste wonderful. Chaoyushin was the first to drink it, a rich aftertaste left behind. He naturally wasn't worried whether or not he would be able to drink it later, instead still waiting to drink more in private with sure how later. When the crowd saw this, they all raised their cups, but after only drinking a single mouthful, just having a taste, they were all shocked. It was because all of their pores shone, as if they ate a stock of divine medicine, multicolored light surging. Haha, <laughs> this is excellent wine. With wine, there naturally must be dishes. I have several dozen half-divine fruits here. Everyone can have a taste, Tugi Yulong said. This old one won't take advantage of you all. I'll let you all try some foreign creatures' dried meat. The taste really is extremely fine. An elder spoke up. Sure how was moved. He produced a few shining creatures, all of them extremely rare, not belonging to this world. The crowd immediately cried out in alarm. Because these were foreign king races, their bloodline strength powerful. Could this be the Ten King's brother Huang killed in Great Scarlet Sky Border? Correct. Sure how nodded. Everyone's eyes burned with desire. Even the owner of the Five Spirits War Chariot Chi Hong laughed, saying, Even though I've eaten foreign king races before, it was definitely not this much. Today, I can eat my fill. He was the disciple of an immortal Dao family in Imperial Pass. The family previously hunted high-level king races from the other side, at that time stirring up a great commotion. He also had the fortune of having a taste before. The atmosphere immediately became lively. Everyone was happy and excited, because they were going to eat king races from the other side. It made their blood boil, difficult for them to calm down. Eat as much meat as you want, drink large bowls of wine, in the future, we will kill enemies on the battlefield. I'll also present my treasures. I stole two of the three octatic treasure chickens my grandfather has been secretly raising. A youngster said while laughing. He came from an ancient family in Imperial Pass. Stinky brat, you dare? Who would have known that the elder from his clan was precisely in the crowd, studying the lightning pool with a group of elders, his true nature revealed? Then I'll just steal one, the youngster said quietly, lacking in confidence. Ha ha. Everyone roared with laughter. This place immediately became relaxed and lively. Soon afterwards, someone produced a Dao flame, starting to roast the king race's shining meat. There were some that were golden with oil, some snow white like jade, all of them releasing special fragrances. The heavy atmosphere of the previous battle was gone without a trace. Everyone talked cheerfully, joking together. They sat in the palace, pushing cups and exchanging cups, enjoying good food. Sure how released a light sigh. It was unknown how much longer this type of light-hearted joyous times in Imperial Pass could continue for. Was it a few months, a few years, or perhaps a hundred years? Outside Imperial Pass, blood would inevitably flow like rivers, corpses piled up like mountains. He didn't know if there would be people long killed in battle when they gathered again. It was clear that when they gathered again in a decade, a large half of them would have already died. This was a reality that couldn't be changed. Little Dao friend, this thing really is formidable, defying the heavens. It'll likely topple all knowledge. In my opinion, we might have to offer it up to the ancestral altar for those great ones to take a look. This was a group of elders, some of them not even bothering to drink lightning tribulation liquid, always researching the lightning pool. Right now, some of them finally reached a conclusion, their expressions serious when they raised their heads. After they researched this, they felt a deep sense of shock. There seemed to be three dragons inside. Someone said with a trembling voice. What? The group of youngsters drank until they were a bit intoxicated, but they were still roused awake. They all trimmed? Three dragons? The lightning pool being made of true ancient rock is already something that topples general knowledge, but there seemed to be three young true dragons inside as well swimming in the liquid. We are really stupefied. An elder said things as they were. They really were a bit dumbstruck, completely stupefied. After carefully observing and seriously analyzing it, they were sure that wisps of draconic might were flowing out. There were three creatures swimming about inside the lightning pool's liquid, appearing and disappearing, leaving everyone shocked. They were exactly the same as true dragons, no difference at all. What are you talking about? True dragons? Hand it over. Let me give them a beating. The golden little heavenly horned and spoke while drunk. Its clan always competed against true dragons, desiring the position of number one clan. Sure how watched for a really long time. This lightning pool really was special. It wasn't that big, 
but when one looked inside, it was as if it was extremely deep, like an abyss. Even if one opened their heavenly eyes, they still couldn't completely see through it. The bottom of the pool looked like an abyss. One could vaguely see three young dragons chasing each other, swimming about, accompanied by lightning radiance and strong winds. Truly shocking. I really am starting to suspect what kind of origins the true dragon race have. An elder said, Is your distinguished self really sure that you aren't mistaken, that those are three true dragons? A youngster asked with a quiet voice. If this really was proven to be the case, then it would definitely be world-shattering. Three true dragons appeared at once. This really was terrifying. Huang really was going to shatter the heavens. There was actually this type of heaven-defying thing that happened after he seized this lightning pool. How about we fish one up and cook it? The heavenly horned it muttered, completely drunk. However, sure how really was moved. He had eaten almost everything, just haven't eaten dragon meat, and there had never been a chance to do so before either. Now, he had the opportunity, moreover likely three of them in the lightning pool. Of course, he could only think about such a thing. He knew that it wasn't realistic. If he truly dared eat dragon meat, perhaps the group of elders in Imperial Pass would eat him first. True dragon, this was a type of unmatched fighting strength, ranked first among the vicious ten. If there really were heirs left behind, they would definitely be carefully protected and nurtured with everything they had. At the same time, there was a seal on the lightning pool applied by Great Elder. Perhaps he had long discovered something, fearing that others would act recklessly. Now, it was impossible to fish up a dragon even if they wanted to. At this moment, everyone felt a feeling of absurdity. These were but dragons, known to be high up above, true dragons with unmatched fighting strength, yet they actually had a chance to be fished out. They were precisely inside a stone pool. Everyone looked at sure how strangely. Just how freakish was this fella? He stole a lightning pool from heavenly tribulation, and in the end, he sees three dragonlings? In that instant, everyone was quite speechless, but they could only scream inside. Huang really is a freak. The lightning pool really was too rare and special, making everyone rush up and examine it. They all wanted to see a true dragon as well, all of them extremely curious, even more so shocked. Eventually, everyone rushed up, all of them giving the lightning pool a look. None of them could confirm if this was a true dragon nest or not. A world within a mustard seed, this wasn't much. The true dragon could naturally do it. Even though the lightning pool was small, who could say for sure that it couldn't store a world inside? Soon afterwards, the lightning pool became the focal point of conversation. Only, no matter how they discussed things, they couldn't come to a result. Everyone felt that it should be given to a supreme being like Meng Tianzhong to examine. Someone of his level should be able to understand the truth. Wu, that light beam is acting quite obediently. Sure how's focal point was different from the others, he was still looking at the streak of light inside the lightning pool. After calming down, it became a dark red color, not moving at all. It rested there just like that, the same color as the immortal killing guillotine. It was extremely sinister and terrifying, making him shiver inwardly. Sure how was thinking to himself, just how he was going to make use of this mysterious divine radiance. Should he refine it into a weapon? Or should he merge it into his flesh? Smelt it together? He still felt like nothing external truly belonged to himself. Weapons didn't make him feel as at ease as himself. He began to think to himself how he was going to refine this streak of divine radiance into his body. If a portion of his body had this dark red streak of light's power, then that would be unimaginable. After half a day of discussions, this place was finally no longer as noisy. Everyone's mouths finally felt a bit dry, calming down, the matters regarding the lightning pool could only be left to supreme beings. In the end, this gathering belonged to the younger generation. Sure how had heard rumors before he even came, stating that there were invitations sent even into the restricted regions of the Nine Heavens. It was interrupted because of his own tribulation crossing. When the group of elders took their leave, the gathering gradually returned to the true subject. We truly gained knowledge and experience today. Brother Huang is too heaven-defying, actually able to seize even the lightning pool. Only admiration can describe what we feel. Someone said with a sigh. Speaking of unknown goods, this time, I also brought a strange object that came from the other side. I originally brought it to show it to everyone in this gathering. See if you all can see what exactly it is. Only, previously, Brother Huang seized all of the spotlight, so it didn't seem right to bring it out. The owner of the Five Spirits War Chariot said, This event originally belonged to the younger generation, for them to discuss the Tao. There were even people who brought strange divine objects, news of this going around even before the gathering started. Oh, just what kind of strange thing is it? 
for even Brother Chi to attach so much importance to it. Someone asked, Even Tin Crown King, Exiled Immortal, Shir E, Great Su Tua, Little Sky King, Tugu Yulong, and other long life families felt rather surprised, looking in his direction. Thus, the lightning pool disturbance came to an end, the gathering returning to normal. This is something an old ancestor from the ancestral altar obtained after taking action outside the pass, fighting a bloody battle with the enemy. Chi Hong said, When everyone heard this, they all sucked in a cold breath of air. The old ancestor he spoke of was currently by the ancestral altar, naturally one of the supreme beings. There were some unmatched beings who had secluded themselves there the entire time. Everyone would always think that they didn't appear in the world, but in reality, they still went out of the pass in secret to protect great armies. When needed, they would face the matchless figures of the other side. Chi Hong's five spirits wore chariot belonged to an unmatched being. He could be considered the inheritor of a supreme being. Even though there was no master and disciple title, there were teachings imparted onto him. For him to be able to obtain something from an unmatched being was naturally not at all surprising. What exactly is it? When everyone saw him seriously open up a stone case, they all revealed shocked expressions because resplendent divine multicolored light bloomed. It was too shocking, like a small sun. This thing could actually float in midair, not fall, light as if it had no weight. What was this? Everyone was shocked, the light it released was too resplendent, difficult for one to look directly at it. A few people activated their heavenly eyes, narrowing their eyes as they stared at it. It was a golden color, as if the most dazzling gold was burning, shining, mysterious, and rare. Moreover, a wave of powerful essence energy was leaked from it, full of vitality, giving many people an extremely comfortable feeling. It was clear that it couldn't be compared to lightning tribulation liquid, but it definitely exceeded normal spiritual goods. The life energy was too pure, making one feel a wave of alarm. There were some who touched it with their hands. It was extremely gentle like jade, sparkling and translucent. This was what the master of the five spirits war chariot, Chi Hong, brought. It was light as if nothing was there, able to float, endless life essence energy released from it. This was a gemstone that was extremely rare. It isn't like the legendary life stone from origin ancient mind, definitely not able to compare to it. But this thing is also extremely rare, shockingly precious. Someone commented, This thing is naturally astonishing. If a small piece is removed, it can be directly absorbed into the body and refined into the purest essence energy, allowing one's cultivation to obtain twice the results with half the effort. Chi Hong said, Many people frowned when they heard this. This was definitely not good, because it was brought back from outside the pass, belonging to the other side. If the other side is able to excavate this in large amounts, wouldn't their cultivation speed far surpass ours? Someone directly stated the issue. There are still more things that are more frightening than this. Chi Hong said. His master was a present world supreme being. What he obtained wasn't only a few pieces of strange stone like this. There was also a jade cauldron, within it a bit of liquid. That light golden liquid is even more terrifying. Within it long life qualities should be from the same source as this type of stone. Only. It is liquid, not solidified yet. Chi Hong said, What kind of uses does it have? Can it be ingested? Someone asked. It can, but what is shocking is that its greatest use is for sealing. Chi Hong said, That unmatched being inside the ancestral altar had previously thrown an ordinary ant into this golden liquid, and then when the golden liquid condensed into rock, the ant was naturally forever sealed within. However, they could clearly sense that the ant still didn't die. After 10,000 generations passed, it was still like this. Later, when that supreme being opened up the stone, the ant was still alive, no different from when it was still alive back then before it was sealed. Everyone was shocked. This thing happened a long time ago. That supreme being must have collected the wondrous stone and mysterious liquid many years ago. Do the other seniors know about this? Someone asked. Of course, the higher level figures already discussed things a long time ago, moreover have always been researching. They previously even caught a foreign creature to interrogate them. Kyuai Hong said, It could ensure that something remained inextinguishable, sealed for eternity. This type of liquid was too formidable, uses too astonishing. The more they thought about it, the more they felt that this might change the situation of the world. How was this type of thing discovered in the foreign side? Or is it to say that they always had it, that it is the source of their strength? Someone asked, With this type of matter, forget about the liquid. Just the condensed wondrous stone was enough to speed up one's cultivation speed. The energy stored within was just too pure. After interrogating the foreign creatures, 
only powerful king clans knew a bit. One of them said that this was something discovered in the most recent tens of thousands of years, excavated from a mine. There was another who said that this was heaven and earth souse, always existing. There is also a terrifying saying. When Chi Hong reached the last type of terrifying saying, his expression became a bit ugly. Everyone urged him to speak. Anlin, Shichuo, and others had previously excavated an ancient burial ground, seeing what was suspected to be recordings that belonged to an undying emperor, a cultivation realm that exceeded theirs. This was precisely the reason why after endless time, Anlin, Shichuo, and others had always been searching, researching, wishing to understand whether that type of supreme creature existed or not. According to the foreign captive, it was precisely because Shichuo was researching the secrets of the ancient supreme individuals that this type of strange stone was discovered, terrifying ancient burial sites continuously excavated, unexpectedly discovering this type of thing. When everyone heard this, they all became stupefied. At the same time, they were extremely shocked. This type of wondrous stone was discovered after excavating ancient burial regions because Shichuo and Anlin, that level of existence, were searching for something? There were just too many dangers related to ancient burial regions, not even undying beings daring to rashly step foot inside, because there were too many dangers and secrets buried underneath. Dao brothers, in the future, outside the pass, on the battlefield against the other side, when you see this type of thing, you definitely have to be mindful. They might have great uses, Chi Hong said. They all began to discuss among themselves, everyone unable to calm down. Only after a long time had passed did something Tugu Yulong brought out shift everyone's attention. It was a damaged map that was made from some type of beast skin. It was worn down and corroded by time. It had existed for too long, now in tatters, as if it would break apart even if it was blown by wind. Tugu Yulong was extremely careful, flattening it and arranging it on the table. Everyone, this map is related to a great secret outside the pass, involving great natural luck. Everyone knew that outside desolate border, the world was boundless, that there was a heavenly beast forest, divine medicine mountain, sea of loss, immortal ancient lands, to the extent where there were ancient burial regions. There was great natural luck in these places. These rumors were always passed around Imperial Pass. Now, Tugu Yulong produced a map, still related to outside the pass. According to what he said, this was obtained from the battlefield. Those from the other side previously held this diagram, searching for something. This immediately triggered cries of alarm. It is precisely because of this diagram that I had people send invitations to those from the ancient restricted areas in the Nine Heavens, thus obtaining a response, Tugi Yulong said. This time, everyone was shocked and then erupted into commotion.